Hi guys, in this experiment, we are going to see about load test on 3 phase induction motor. The apparatus required are voltmeter 0 to 600 volt MI type quantity 1 and ammeter 0 to 10 ampere MI type quantity 1 and wattmeter 600 volt 10 ampere UPF 2 quantity. The circuit diagram for this experiment is this one. Here we connect a voltmeter across any phase line and an ammeter here. And this one is a star delta starter. The procedure for this experiment is the three phase supply is switched on to the motor using the starter. Under this load condition, one set of readings of the ammeter, voltmeter and wattmeter, spring balance and the speed of the motor are noted down. Now the mechanical load on the motor is increased in regular step such that current drawn by the motor increases in steps of 1 ampere. At each step of loading, the entire meeting, meter readings are noted down. This procedure is continued until the current drawn by the motor equals 120 degree of rated value. The model graph for this experiment is this one. Here is the efficiency, torque, power factor, percentage slip and current IL in Y axis and P0 that is watt in X axis. In this graph, the torque is in Y axis and in X axis, slip. The formula for this experiment is this one torque T is equal to 9.81 into R into S1 difference S2, that is, spring balance difference. PA is watt meter reading and P0 is equal to 2 pi n. T by 60. Power factor is PA by root 3 VL IL. Percentage efficiency is output power by input power that is P0 by PA into 100. Percentage slip is equal to NS minus N by NS into 100. The tabulation for this experiment is this one. Now I am going to write down the readings of voltmeter, current and wattmeter. The formula for torque is T is equal to 9.81 into R into S1 difference S2. The value for R is 0 0.1 which is the diameter of the motor. Now I am putting for the second value that is torque T is equal to 9.8 9.8 into R. R is the this value. 0 0.1 into S1 difference S2 9.4 it's 
for the second value 9.8 into or that is 0 0.1 into this s1 difference s2 is 13 is 12.74 like this do for the remaining four values the first one value will be 0 because s1 difference s2 is 0 0 multiplying anything will be 0 the four values are 15.6 18.6 19.6 21.5 for p0 the formula will be 2 pi n t by 60 that is take your calc 2 into pi into n that is speed 1472 into t that is torque 9.2 Divide by 60 is 1418.1. 1418.1. Like this, write for remaining values. For percentage efficiency, the formula will be P out by PA into 100. That is, P naught is 1418.1 divided by PI, that is 1760 into 100, that is 80.5. Like this, do for the remaining values. For power factor, the formula will be PA that is 1760 divided by root 3 into VL. The corresponding VL is 396 into IL is 5. It's 0 0.51. Like this, do for the all the values. For slip, the formula will be ns minus n by ns. Here the ns is 120 into f, that is frequency 50 hertz divided by pole. This machine is a 4 pole machine, so for 1500, n is 1500 minus n, that is 1472 divided by same 1472 it's 0 0.01 like this do for the all the values Just for the experiment, the tabulation is completed. With these values, draw the graph. Take the efficiency, torque, power factor, slip and high A in Y axis and P0 that is what in X axis. Plot the point corresponding to efficiency and what and then join all the points. We get a curve like this. And then for the torque speed characteristics, mark torque versus this slip. Torque versus slip. The formula 
the graph will be like this one with these two graphs the experiment is completed thank you for watching